hard is it to train when you're on the road and when you're traveling? We get asked this quite a few times. You know, when you're at home, you have that familiarity, you know where you're going. So if you've got a flat run, you know where you can run. If you've got a hilly run, you know where you can go. Um, and same with riding, you know all the streets around. So it's very easy to plan your runs and your rides. So today I have a run, I'm doing hill repeats. So I go, for me, I go on Strava and have a look at different routes because you can see elevations and so on and see what's around. Um, yesterday we went for a walk and found a hill. We saw one in the distance. It was not the one that I found on Strava, but we saw one. So then we came back, looked at maps and worked out where I could go to do my warm up and then get to my run. So it just takes a lot more planning when you're on the road. Tim's runs easy, he just has to run, I don't know, 35 minutes or something? My runs easy, is it? <laughs> His runs easy, <laughs> mine's difficult. <laughs> anyway, I'm going for a run. If I couldn't find the hill for today, I would have just messaged Emma and she would have just given me a different session to do. So we can always adjust our programs. Um, great thing about having a coach, I don't have to do the thinking about what's the purpose of today's session I just tell her I can't find a hill and she'll make up something new for me And here's my hill. <laughs> it's quite steep. 8.45 second repeats. With hill repeats, the aim is not to go as hard and as strong as you can, but the aim is to keep them as consistent as possible. So I always try to have a set start point and a set end point. So in this case, it was the intersection of the road, was the start, here comes a car. And the end was that yellow triangle. So my 45 seconds, I tried to start and end at the same place. Filming you, filming me. No problem. No problem. I've got six minutes to go. Oh, no. I know I said your run was easy. How was it? Great. Was it? Loved it. Yeah, I feel good. You back? I hope so. I said that before and I wasn't, but I feel different. I feel better. Check out our new merch, including our new TriFit in the Van logo. Men's and women's. Blue only, link below. The hardest part when we're away is riding because trying, we don't really know the streets that are safer to ride on. So just recently we found a crit track in Coffs Harbour. Well, it's actually down in Sortel, so it's just out of Coffs Harbour. So now we've started staying at this caravan park in Sortel and it's about a 15 minute um, ride in. So then that's our warm up and then we'll do a session around the quick track and then ride home. I have to admit though that that ride to get to the velodrome is not my favorite. It's a bit sketchy in some parts.
good track for a mountain bike. That's your loop? That's my loop. <laughs> it's my off-road loop. I find Wednesday is probably one of the harder days when we're away because I have two sessions. So I had the um, ride this morning and then a swim and that's typically my Wednesdays. But uh, today I decided no, I'm going to do both of those. So we had the ride this morning and then Tim just dropped me at the pool. And now I'm heading across the road to the library while he goes and visits his shops. So, you know, I'm just trying to get in as much training as I can. It really is whatever you prioritise happens. So I've prioritised doing that training. It will be interesting when Tim's on program and we may both have separate things to do, like different things to do. What we've been doing now is he will just do whatever I'm doing that day. Um, but his coach may have different ideas. So. We'll cross that when it happens next year. So starting from the I think second of January, we'll have that problem, but you know, somehow we'll make it work. So I'm just heading to Coffs Harbour Library and I'm gonna just sit in there and do a couple of hours. Thanks for training with us. Next stop, Port Macquarie. 